What better way to start the new year than with a voiceover superstar? Our guest has been working for decades in film, television, and video games. She is known and loved for her work on The Fairly Odd Parents, Tough Puppy, Avatar The Last Airbender, just to name a very few. She is a Grammy-winning singer-songwriter, and she's just flat out fabulous. So we are so happy to welcome to VioBuzz Weekly, finally, the amazing Grey Delisle. Oh, hi. Everybody. Great! Hi, guys. Put it there. When you were talking about that so person, awesome I was like, "So awesome to have you oh, on the like, show." <laughs> when is she gonna get here? Oh, yeah, she <laughs> just arrived. Like a superstar is coming. <laughs> well, and I have She's to just so say, modest. I'm having a follicle moment here because you're our fir like first brunette. It's been all these, oh. you know. I mean, Tara's lovely oh. and EG and Debbie, them. but you know. <laughs> Right for the brunettes, oh baby. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna go in the back now and just uh, when get I you out of this in the parking lot, I was like, oh, she's a brunette. I don't know when I heard Stacy, saw Stacy, I was like, oh, Stacy, okay. I just yeah. got like an idea about who you Stacey thought Stacy was. Stacy, yeah. no, yeah. Stacy, yeah. Stacy, <laughs> East Coast brunette. Yeah, I know. Oh, you guys are crazy. Okay, sorry, this, Chuck. This could be a whole different show today. <laughs> You're pretty um, too, Chuck. Yeah, yeah, right. You're a brunette. I am kind yeah. of a brunette. You know, when I don't sp spend all the money that I do on my highlights, my hair is the same color as yours. Uh, it's all the but, uh, yeah, exactly. right? Exactly. Uh, rock and roll, what we do for it. Um, <laughs> I want to get right into it and ask you, I mean, you've had such an amazing career, um, uh, you know, with music and with, you know, voiceover and animation and all stuff. How did the whole voiceover thing start for you? I used to just do impressions all the time when I was really little. Mm -hmm. And I would watch The Tonight Show and then do the, the comedy acts for my mom mm -hmm. when she was blow drying her hair in the morning. And um, and I, I, and part of that was impressions. Like, I loved yeah. The Wizard of Oz, and I would do, you know, I want to go home, I want to go home, and I'm Uncle Henry, I'm frightened. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Oh, I'm not a witch at all, I'm just a little girl. And, you know, and, That's you, know, so <laughs> you killed my sister! Was it you? <laughs> and I was just like, as Colonel, I vowed for her, I thoroughly examined her, and she's not only merely dead, but she's quite sincerely dead. Anyway, I did like that whole thing. All growing up, oh like when I was goodness. little. That's and, so um, cool. Actually, at my reunion, they still call me Dorothy. They were like, Dorothy! Really? Hey, Dorothy! Dorothy! And I'm like, oh, Dor oh Dorothy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually did all of our teachers in high school, and then I graduated, oh, and then had no awesome. act because <laughs> nobody knew who my yeah. teachers were. I was like, "Oh gosh, if you went to my high school, yeah, this, this would be killing yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Did you yeah. ever get in trouble for that? Uh, no, they kind of embraced they loved it. it. They, they embraced all the assemblies yes. and all this stuff. And, but um, but no, and then I um, I did a, a video for Nancy Reagan. It was like a Just Say No video mm -hmm. when I was like 13. It's still on. If you go on YouTube and look up "Don't Say Yes When You Really Mean No," you will see some fine. <sighs> Fine acting. Some fine acting. From a 13 year old. That was your breakout role. Yeah. You were, so you were 13? I was 13, yeah. Wow. And I, was, I had a valley girl kind of voice. I was, it was like so, it was so cartoony. Like it, it, it was on camera, but there was nothing has real about my character at all. Has that character made her uh, way into your work? I'm sure. Have you. Maybe she was yeah. a little bit of. Portia from The Mighty Bear who talks like this. Yes, I'm tots going there, whatever, Bessie. You know, so um, it was a little bit of mixture, you know, yes. but um, yeah, it was very, a very bad performance. But people used to, it was one of the free uh, videos you could rent from Blockbuster, mm -hmm. and people started renting it just as a joke, and so it kind of got a cult following of just, it was so nice. awful. Oh, that's so Oh my gosh, cool. yeah. the hits Don't are going yes. yeah, right, to... Right, exactly, it's going to be yeah. a hit all over again. Okay, well that's anyway, a good lesson. Yeah. Don't yeah. say yes. I mean, yeah, don't. Don't, um, yeah. don't say yes to acting if you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> you should do voiceover, not on camera. Um, yeah, yeah, no, so then I um, did, then I, so I did that video for Nancy Reagan, and then mm -hmm. I started doing comedy, like, just, but I wasn't 18 yet, so I was kind of, like, sneaking into clubs, and then right. um, a guy that did the Caboodles Beauty Organizers thing, he was looking for a voice for it, and he was happy to be friends of the, of the producer. I'm not talking in English. I'm like, he happy to be friends. You are. With, he <laughs> happy to be friends with that. <laughs> But he was friends with the producer, and the producer said, we have a girl that could probably do a teenage voice for that Caboodles thing. And and so I, I bought a little 65 Mustang with that money. Nice. I was like, wow. this is good money. I mean, I bought like a You bought 65 one. Mustangs? <laughs> 65 of them. 60, yeah. Um, it with was a trunk covered. full of Caboodles. It was disgusting. It was a yeah. trunk full of rats. Yeah. And my dad oh. and I kind of restored it. And my stepdad and I kind of like spent the summer fixing it. And, um, mm. I, but I put all my money into that. And by the time I graduated, it actually, um, by all, all the residuals, kind of like, <laughs> oh, wow, you know, they accumulated. Yeah, I was like 14 when I did it. By the time I was 17, nice. we actually had a car together. So. That is so cool. Yeah, so I thought this price everything is something. Mm. So I went and got a theater degree. Then I, um, still try to do stand up and this yeah. lady I, I did impressions and they were not they were okay but my my comedy wasn't great mm -hmm. and I did Anita Baker do you remember Anita Baker of course yeah. um, 
I would go like, I'm humble just because I'm humble just because just because I do. You know, anyway, I was just like, I, my whole act was like, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that was my joke. That is so, so great. The lady was like, um, you know what, your impressions are good, but you need some material. Yeah. You know, what I was like, but but you can't understand what you're saying, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, but that so, little piece was good. Yeah, I mean, I would do a lot more impression than I would actually have of a joke. So yeah. she was like, you should work on your comedy. But while you're doing that, you should, could do some voiceovers because you do good at celebrity. Because I, I threw yeah. in The Wizard of Oz mm-hmm. and I threw in like a couple other, you know, little things. And I, I did, um, Jean, um, was it Gene Stapleton or Maureen Stapleton? The one from Archie Bunker's place. I was like, oh, oh Gloria, yeah. I kind of did that kind of thing. <laughs> and I, I use a little bit of that sometimes. I don't know. Um, oh. All my bad impressions got filtered into voices. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, so I was like, I'll do voiceovers while I'm working on my act. And then I was like, this is awesome. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> yeah. So I still have only friends that are struggling in comedy. And they're mm-hmm. like, damn, I should have jumped off the comedy train onto the cartoon right, when you left. Right, Yeah. So. So yeah. so so That's so cool. So when was your like first big break in animation? Like when when you when you when you said to yourself, "Oh my God, this is so cool! I I did it." Well, getting an agent was a was hard it thing. A hard thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean when people are tr- starting to try yeah, to yeah. do it, I always yeah. help people. I mean I always help them as much as you can. Like a hundred people will go. People told me that I have a really good voice, and I'm like, well, you know, you should get take an acting class, mm-hmm. make a demo, do some comedy. You know, yeah. I mean, just yeah, yeah it's not just <laughs> make fun of your voice. teacher. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's 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 a lot of acting, you know. Yeah. So um, I you know, but but like out of the hundred people a year that approach me about helping them. Like only like two do the things mm-hmm. that I told them to Absolutely. do, and when they do, I do I completely help them if they're yeah. that committed to do it, and I try yeah. to help you know get them to, into Sandy's and mm-hmm. you know uh, or Peters. I shouldn't call yeah. Sandy's anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy and Peters. Sandy's and Peters. I'm, I, have, I have two H's now. Sandy and Peters. Yes. AVO. AVO talent. AVO. Great talent. You come into LA, call me, and we'll set you up if you're good. <laughs> um, but don't ever get take jobs from me because then I will have to kill. Yeah, right. and um, don't follow her. <laughs> Only on Twitter. Just follow me on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, follow her on Twitter. Um, but, yeah, yeah, so, uh, well, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, it was hard to get an agent. But yeah, Sandy to agent. took me, I, I took a voiceover class, and the person who was running the class said, I really think that you could do this, and I want to introduce you to Sandy Schnarr. And so I, mm-hmm. um, but anyway, my big break was I got um, the voice of Reptar on Rugrats. Rugrats, yeah. Yeah, mm. and I actually had a car accident on my way there. I was waiting tables. Um, and um, cleaning houses. I was doing all these jobs. Anything. I was doing singing telegrams for a while. I was just for real. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Live That's wire crazy. singing telegrams. H A P P P Y V I R T H D A Y. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Oh God! What a ham we have here with us today, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh any se- be patient, you guys. Any second she's gonna open up and yeah. like, kind of. Mm-hmm. Like, she's just can just we starting, all this in? She's like, just she's starting to warm up. Now. A little introverted. <laughs> yes. Next question. No. <laughs> yes or no? Um, no, but anyway, so I had all these crazy jobs, and I just wanted to do cartoons so badly. Yeah. And um, so, no, I was on my way to the Rugrats job. I was so excited, and uh, somebody pulled in front of me, and I swerved to oh. miss them, and my car almost flipped <gasps> over. And it was like it spun around on the freeway, and it was on the side of the road. But I was so... I didn't even care about the car. This guy stopped to help me, and I said, can you drive me to Classic Shoe Pro on Hollywood Boulevard because I have a job, I have a voiceover job, and I've been wanting to do this my whole life, and I've got to get to the... And he was like, but your car. And I was like, just, it's okay, I'll just call somebody. I think I was in shock you or something. You were in shock. I got there, and, and I just told him, like, I'm sorry. I was like 25 minutes late. Now mm. I'm just 25 minutes late, just whatever. Yeah. Just for the like, heck of it. <laughs> because you're great. Well, there's a long line at Starbucks, so... <laughs> Um, but no, but I but it went well, and Tara was there, yeah. and she was an old pro by that by then. She she'd been doing it since she was thirteen. So yeah. she was like, mm-hmm. "Have a seat. I'm gonna teach you the ropes." So, so I sat down, and, and she has been my friend ever since. And we, you know, yeah. So that was my reptile. So was cool. And then after mm-hmm. your work, after you're doing a cartoon, then everybody kind of wants you. It's just getting the mm-hmm. first. Thing. Of course, exactly. yeah, absolutely. Then it's like you know, like, I'm sorry, I'm not available right now. I know. Well, I know when, when you're I was not available. Trying to market that's... me, she, they were like, "What's she on?" I'm like, "Well, nothing. She just started." And then yeah. after I got that thing, like she just did. It, she's playing, you know. Reptar on, uh, yeah. you know, on Rugrats, mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, well, how come we haven't met her? It's like, well, I've been trying to introduce you to her, but she... Yeah, for yeah. 13 years! Now I'm angry. No. Yeah, no, no, no <laughs> anger. No anger. You are crazy good. Crazy good. <laughs> She's crazy good. Um, I have another question for you. Okay. What is your, I mean, you have all these characters, okay, that you've make up, made up and been on all this stuff. What's your favorite character? 